address questions should they bear. So my attention has been drawn to the news story aired by NTV on the night of Sunday, 18th June, 2023, that was titled, We Still and God Heals. And this was regarding the embezzlement of NHIF funds. According to the news story, a number of private facilities in Meru and Nairobi counties are alleged to be working with unscrupulous NHIF staff and have formed a syndicate to rob unsuspecting citizens and the government of the healthcare funds. In an elaborate scheme, the facility owners are accused of having even ferried oblivious patients to hospitals across the two said counties, then proceeded to carry out unnecessary procedures on the patients and later used the various procedures as avenues of fleecing patients off their NHIF benefits. I wish to express my deepest disappointment and contestation at the staff at my ministry who may be part of this color syndicate. I have had a meeting this morning with the chair of NHIF board and instructed him that they commence investigations, including inviting the whistleblower to share in details regarding this heartless and ruthless cartel and ask the board to take action against the culpable staff. I have also directed that a preliminary report be shared with me within 48 hours by NHIF board. Further, I have directed the ministry's division in charge of standards and regulations to take action immediately and give me a report. I have further made a special request to ESCC to liaise with the NHIF and carry out comprehensive investigations with the aim of finding out how this cartel siphon resources from Kenyans and from NHIF specifically, and I hope this can be availed within the next seven days. In my last message to Kenyans regarding NHIF, I reiterated that while we ask hospitals to reopen and serve Kenyans pending settlement of their claims, payments would be subjected to the highest thre uh, threshold of verification. This is predicated on suspicions as those aired on news where facility owners use underhand tactics to rob the country of resources that would be at otherwise utilized to ensure excellent healthcare management nationwide. I wish to restate that beyond verifying current outstanding payments, we are embarking on a verification excess of all payments across the country to flag out any inconsistencies that may point to abuse of resources and theft. As Kenyans may be aware, NHIF is a primary cog in the wheel of universal health coverage. It is actually envisaged that NHIF will ensure that all Kenyans subscribe and pay up monthly contributions can afford health care at primary health centers. Having been established to enhance equitable and sustainable health and well-being of Kenyans and to cushion citizens from financial hardship, the NHIF is a critical component of achieving the Kenya Kwanzaa government's Afya Mashinani plan that aims to deliver primary health care at the grassroots. As such, further to the measures above and to ensure that facilities suspected of these ills do not continue siphoning resources from patients and governments, I hereby direct that all branch managers for NHIF in the affected areas be suspended immediately pending investigations. I hereby also instruct the Kenya Medical Practitioner and Dentist Council, the Pharmacy and Poisons Board, to commence investigations immediately and conclude within 48 hours on the following facilities. J. Kim Medical Center in Meru Central, St. Peter's Orthopedic and Surgical Hospital in Kiambu County, Afia Bora Hospital in Mwaya Kirinyaga, Joy Nursing and Maternity Hospital in Malewa Street, Kamkunji, Afia Bora Hospital Annex in Wanguru, Mwaya, Jekim Hospital, Ngupu, Imenti South, Beirut and 
Beirut Pharmacy and Medical Center, and Amal Hospital Limited. And within the 24 hours, starting now, the facilities are directed to immediately transfer their inpatients and evacuate their process. This will allow KMPDC to commence their inspections. Thereafter, our teams will enforce the directive for closure should they inspect and find them culpable, and they will remain closed until investigations are concluded. Additionally, we are going to commence an elaborate lifestyle audit on all staff of NHIF. This is to ensure that each member of staff can explain their wealth portfolio in consistency with their earnings. This will commence this month in conjunction with ESC, but will continue progressively to the end of the year. Any inconsistencies, inconsistencies flagged out will be subjected to investigations and will attract firm legal measures. Let me emphasize that any or a, anyone or organization that wishes to run a medical camp must get a license from the Kenya Medical Practitioner and Dentist Council. And also emphasize that chiefs do not license medical camps. This emphasis serves to ensure that there are no subsequent instances of people pleading ignorance. Finally, I wish to give commitment that the Ministry of Health will work to transform NHIF to meet its intended mandate.